Beardo Benjo. Hello everyone and welcome to the Beardo Benjo Art Challenge. Today, I'm going to be painting three well-known artistic masterpieces as fast as I can, from memory, <laughs> inside Vermilion for the Quest 2. This is a brand new painting application. I'm reluctant to call it a game because it kind of isn't a game. It's more of a expressionist place to come and hang out and actually create some genuine works of art. Today we're having a look at the Quest 2 version and I'm going to paint three masterpieces from memory as quickly as I can. The first is going to be the Mona Lisa, of course. The second is going to be the Scream and the third is going to be American Gothic, which is exceptionally... <laughs> I don't want to pick these, man. American Gothic is so detailed, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. In this game, you can also bring up basically a browser and we can compare my end result versus the real genuine article. I'm just going to get stuck in. This is this might be the video that's going to take me the longest to film. I could be here for hours. Um, This brush, please. Mona Lisa. What does the Mona Lisa look like? Okay, Mona Lisa has like a kind of a greeny, like a kind of a greeny blue background, I think. <laughs> it really feels like painting on a canvas. I think there's like some mountains behind her. Or where, like, where is she? Where is the Mona Lisa? What's she doing? She's just sitting there. Is it like a vineyard? But she's just kind of chilling. Oh, I've mixed the paint. I'm mixing the paint. This is some kind of stupid schoolboy error, isn't it? Let's get a bit more yellow in that skybox. A bit more yellow in that skybox, I think. A bit more, yeah, that can't, that's it. A bit more yellow in there. Now, she sits like here in the middle, uh, just looking all frustrated about everything. She's not a very happy looking woman. I don't know why she looks so fed up or why she's even really that popular. God, this is therapeutic. Even try and do it fast and try and do a speed paint like... There's something about it that's really... Not, I like how the colours all blend together, actually. I know I probably shouldn't be doing that. That's a pretty good tree. That's a, pr uh, that's, that's a pretty good tree. I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's like a path. Coming down here. Okay, so... Uh, let's... Oh, no. Already it's gone wrong. Um, what am I doing? What's, what am I trying to do here? Is that her face? I'm not even sure. How the hell do you make, like, a peachy skin tone? I think she is quite, kind of, yellow. Um, should I do this as a new layer? I probably should. Is that right? That's surely too orange. Oh, my God. I might be okay, actually. Oh, yeah. That's a good hair colour. That is a... I think that's right. I think that's about right for her hair. Okay, she's got kind of boring hair. I remember that. I can't talk. I'm bold, but like... I have a feeling I'm going to absolutely love this. I feel like this is going to actually end up being really good. I don't know if that's just me being overly cocky right now, but like, I feel like I might be onto something here. I think it's just black. I think she just has a black something or other on. Oh, I think it's got a bit of a plunging neckline, though. There we go. We'll leave room for the plunging neckline. She uh, she liked to shock people, old uh, old Mona. Show off a little bit of, uh, you know. Okay, these little blobs down here are going to have to represent her hands. I mean, I think that's pretty good. It kind of looks like clasped hands. I, I don't think I can do any better than that. Okay, all right. Whoa, that famous Mona Lisa... Oh my god, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> Look at that. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> does she have eyebrows? I feel like she does have eyebrows. Right? She's doesn't <laughs> really got eyebrows. Um, terrifying. She's got grey eyes. That is absolutely horrific. Right, that classic Mona Lisa smirk. Coming right up. It's kind of a is it a, it's like a pinky fleshy tone, I think. Will be her lips. Can't do them in black, right? I've got to avoid the black. Oh my god. Is she looking good? She's going out in the town tonight. <laughs> She's
She's going to paint the tower red, old Mona Lisa. Oh, she's having the best time tonight. Look at her. A little bit of shading. A little bit of shading. Just to bring it to life. Just to... She's got a five head. I've just realised she's got an absolute five head. That isn't good. Okay. I think that's the first one done. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty good. Come on now. I mean, that's pretty good, right? That's... That's pretty good. I mean... <laughs> I mean, she looks a bit like a Simpson version. But from a first attempt, that's I'd say that's pretty bloody good. Look at that! Alright, new painting. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. This one's gonna be the Scream. The classic Scream. Everyone knows the Scream. I think this one's gonna be easier. Okay, this one's kind of crazy. Lots of oranges. Lots of oranges. Like an orangey, ready. It literally looks like that. It literally looks like that. I've just made there. The sky is just like that. Okay. Um, hold on. Right. I feel like if I mix the reds and the orange on here, I should get like kind of an effect of like, because the painting's got so much, so much color in it. Um, scream! I think it's, there's like loads of colors, and it's a bit like, it's a bit mad. I think that's the whole point of it. Um, layer two: the bridge. He's on a bridge. He's on a he's on a bridge, doing a scream. I'm not sure why. I don't know what's got him so riled up, but he's that's what he's doing. He's on a bridge, having a having a little scream about life. Sometimes it's good to go to a bridge and have a scream about life. Scream into the abyss, you know? Okay. I feel like I'm kind of almost already done with this one. This one was kind of easy, I think. I'll look at the actual painting and it'll be, no it'll be nothing like this, but I feel like this is kind of on the right track. I feel like the bridge has gone a bit awry. He's got oh, kind of like a wobbly head. He's kind of like this. Bit of a wobbly head going on. Oh, I could paint things in here for hours. This is absolutely wonderful. This is so... Like, seriously wonderful. There we go. Looks a bit like a big grey peanut, but I think that's fine. I don't know what colour clothes he's wearing. Part of me thinks it might just be black. It might be like kind of a black... For some reason, I've got... I'm picturing him. The Scream dude. And I'm picturing him as like... um, Wearing almost like... A judge's robes for some reason from from like a courthouse I don't know where I'm getting that from this one's this one's pretty bad I'm not gonna lie like I think in my head <laughs> in my head it's so so oh no I don't know what kind of eyes he has does he have a nose does he have a nose he doesn't have a nose no oh my god okay how do I make this more good. How do, I, how do I make this more good? Uh, some people say less is more. I mean, I kind of say more is more. You, you keep keep putting paint on there and eventually it might look kind of cool. Alright, okay, I'm definitely screwing it up now. I think I think his eyes are just bigger black abysses. I think they're just like that. That's terrifying. Add a few other colours to the background here. See, that's great. Look, because it's a different layer, I can paint underneath the bridge. I really like that. Okay, not to be too cocky, but I feel like I might have nailed that. That's, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good, I think. I guess the only way to find out is to Google it. Um, oh, there was way more colour. Way more colour. Oh, I didn't go big enough with the old colour, did I? And there's two people on the bridge. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. I kind of focused in on these colours up here. Um, and he's, like, orange. It's like an orangey-yellowy colour. I've done him as, like, a grey alien. He's he's a grey, like one of the classic aliens. A lot more yellow in it. I think it's a lake. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it's actually a lake. Oh, okay, final, final one. The American Gothic. I, I shouldn't have picked this one. This one's dumb. I should have done, like, Starry Night or something. This is going to be far too hard to paint. It's just two people. Like, it's just two people. What I might do here is do an outline of everything on the base layer and then just fill in the details over the top. 
Okay, that might look like the scribblings of a madman, but I figure if I put that on as a base layer, then it gives me something to kind of like trace over. I think that's basically what the picture's like. So I looked at it right before... <laughs> right before filming. It's a man, I think he's holding a pitchfork. Woman, possibly with a hat. Building behind them, maybe with a cross on it. Ah! <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Look at that. Peachy. Peachy, right. Let's get it going. Alright, this is the last one we're doing in this video, so I want this to be my magnum opus. I want this to be the very best one. Nice gunmetal grey for the pitchfork there. That is not a pitchfork, that is a McDonald's flipping symbol upside down. Christ, give it a spike. I've completely forgotten what colour clothes the woman wears. So I've gone with a red dress with a with a blue undershirt. <laughs> that is horrific! Oh, it's alright, I've committed to it now. I, I cannot remember what she's wearing. I feel like she had a dress on. Um, my easel so messy. I feel like she had a dress on and I feel like it might have had a belt. Did she? Is she wearing a hat? The more I paint the hat on, the more I think she's probably not wearing a hat. We're going with it, though. We're going with it. Going with the hat. Committing to it. Committing to the bit. Committing to the bit. She's got a hat now. Alright, we're nearly there. This journey is coming to an end. Now, she is... De oh, my God. What the hell is that? She's definitely looking at him. In the original. Oh my god, it looks like something out of like salad fingers. It's terrifying. Look at it. I like how do all these women with like very red lips. Like Mona Lisa's lips were far too red. And I know that this lady in this picture in American Gothic does not look this happy looking at her husband. I assume husband. I'm pretty sure she looks like so fed up. The more I the more I paint this picture. The more I think it might have been him that was wearing the hat, you know? The more I'm starting to think, eh, maybe he's wearing a hat. But then how would I know he's bold? You know, that was like one of the first things I said. I was like, well, he's bold. <laughs> His face. All right, well, we're going with it now. We're going with it now. I think there might be a tree behind him. Let's get a little tree in there. There's definitely a cross somewhere. I, I don't know why I've got that in my mind. I think there's a cross. Maybe on the building itself. Maybe there isn't a cross at all. So weird that your brain, like, can possibly, like, create details that aren't there. Alright. That, that might be the best of the three. That might be the best of the three, you know? That's... I don't think it's going to look anything like American Gothic, but I think it might be my best attempt at something in here. I am so confused as to what happened in my brain between seeing that image and, and creating this. No one's got a hat. <laughs> no one's wearing a hat. Why did I do a hat? At least I got his glasses right. He's got glasses. There's no cross. My brain made the cross up. Did I just look at them and associate religion? I don't know. Where did the cross come from? This has been Vermilion on the Quest 2. I absolutely adore this app. I don't have much artistic talent for actually making paintings. I always wanted to paint when I was younger, but I could never wrap my head around it. I could never really put paint to canvas and create something that I was proud of. I tried, and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I can draw, but I can't paint. This app is so detailed and so extensive. You could sit in here and make some genuinely impressive things and share them with the community online or save them to your device and put them on your Twitter or Facebook, wherever. It's a great tool for artists or just for people like me who want to kick back for a couple of hours in a really relaxing space and make some paintings. Before I leave you, here they are. Mona Lisa, The Scream, and American Gothic. My three attempts at speed painting some masterpieces just from memory. I'm going to save those and I'm going to upload them to Twitter, probably turn them into NFTs, sell them, make millions, and just quit life because... That's what everyone else is doing with pixel art, and that's definitely a darn sight better. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon for another one. Take care, guys. See you later.